I slept so bad last night. <coughs> Probably the worst night of sleep in like years. Which is a bummer because we're in a really beautiful area. We're finally out boondocking. And last night was absolutely incredible. <laughs> when Chris and I were driving in here, he beat me up here because I was running errands and getting the van all set. But there was a small herd of wild horses they were so beautiful. The wild horses had a backdrop of this beautiful rainstorm. And then the rainstorm cleared and the sun, like the last bit of the sunrise came out and I, I mean, it was like more beautiful than any movie anybody could create. Like, it was insane. I'm pretty sick. <laughs> I've been sick now for a few days and I definitely did this to myself. <laughs> Over the last few weeks I've like, just run my body into the ground and I very <clears throat> rarely get sick but when I do I know that it is really time for me to slow down. And so that's what I'm doing today. I'm just gonna really slow down and take care of myself. And there's really no better place to do it than, than out in this really beautiful area. I'm going to mix together my athletic greens and give them a huge shout out and a big thank you for sponsoring today's video. Athletic Greens is really the quickest and easiest way to fill nutritional gaps in my diet and it always feels extra good to drink when I'm sick or not feeling well. I used to keep AG1 in the beautiful green canister in my cupboard. Then I learned a very important thing that you all should know is that this should be kept in your refrigerator. So now I keep it in the plastic container so that I can fit really easily around whatever else is in my fridge because this is a priority in my life. So let's get to the point. What's in AG1 and why do I take it? There are numerous vitamins and minerals which is crucial for a well-functioning nervous system and fundamental building blocks of a strong immune system. There are dairy-free probiotics which is one of the reasons why it's important to keep in your refrigerator. It includes adaptogens and antioxidants. Basically, adaptogens are this amazing class of herbs that respond to influences like stress. They can aid in better sleep quality or lowering everyday physical and mental fatigue. It also includes a superfood complex. I don't think I had ever gone into the nitty gritty of those things, so I thought it was about time to do so. I have incorporated Athletic Greens into my daily routine now, I think for almost a year. And the ease of it, how good it tastes, the easy storage, and of course all of the various nutritional benefits that comes with being such a high quality product are just a few reasons why I continue to drink this nutritional supplement. Click my link below to get a one year supply of immune supporting vitamin D3 K2 and five individual travel packets for free with your first purchase. These are the travel packets, which I absolutely adore. I just brought these out into the backcountry with me on my two week mule deer hunt in Utah. And when I eat freeze dried meals every single day, my body craves fruits and vegetables, it craves nutrients, and it was so clutch having these out there because they're also really lightweight. As you guys know, usually my next move is to make coffee, but instead of coffee, I am going to start the morning with my favorite sick drink. Uh, every single time that I get a cold or get sick, I make this. It's the simplest thing you could ever imagine, but to me it feels really, really good to consume. So 
So that's next. Oh. Quick little change of plans. I just opened my door for the first time and saw that our neighbor left and he has a sick spot and I can fit there. So I am going to go and steal his spot, which is on the edge of this insanely beautiful valley. So that's happening before anything else. Oh gosh, almost just ran over the fire pit. Oh no, I have my boots outside. Oh my gosh, I almost just ran over my boots. I'm hot or cold. Story of my life. I start by chopping up a chunk of fresh ginger root. Add this to my pot of water so it can simmer for a few minutes. So my ginger has been simmering for a little while and the water has gotten a little brown and now I'm just gonna add a lemon. Go ahead. Do you need him to move? Oh, there you go. Chris is here to hang out. He brought me snacks. And Pokemon cards. And Pokemon cards. I'm picking between the two of these two. Mm -hmm. Evolving Skies and Fusion Strike. You like Evolving Skies better. Yeah, but... I'll take Fusion Strike. Okay. Nada. Mm. Nothing. Nothing. Nada. We're losers. Bad day for Pokemon. We got more. You got more, babe? <laughs> Are you serious? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like a lot? I wouldn't say a lot. We're losers. Common halos. <laughs> I haven't really been outside much today, and I think that that would be good for me to do. But in about an hour, maybe less, it's supposed to start to thunderstorm for the rest of the evening. 
So, I'm going to get outside right now, go for a walk. It's very windy and it's starting to get really cloudy, but like I said, I think it'll feel good. Also, I had really wanted to do kebabs over a fire tonight, and obviously that can't happen. horses again, but nowhere to be found. Even though that walk took kind of a lot out of me, it did re-energize me, which feels good. But since we can't do a fire tonight, we are going to bake kebabs. Chris has a little oven in his bus. So, I'm gonna gather all the stuff that I need, because I was gonna make them over here, but I'll just make them over there. Since I've been sick, well also since being um, out of the back country after the hunt, I'm like craving, just craving vegetables, meat, and fruit. So, that's what I'm, that's what I'm eating mostly vegetables and meat and fruit. Alright, so I'm gonna get all this stuff together and truck on over to the bus. Did the keel already go? Oh no, she's behind me. Kilo, should we go to the bus? Alright, let's go on over. She says, bye mom. Seasons past, it's more competition with yourself than it is with the other. Look at how beautiful that is. Well, it ended up not raining where we are. We've seen rain completely around us. So we definitely could have had a fire. Kobe's. Oh, babe, the horses. The horses are back. Kobuck, come here, bud. Good boy. Load up. What's that? The horses are right there. Oh, wow. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, it's the same group that was over on the other side. Yeah. These are the horses that I was trying to find earlier today.
I don't know if you can hear. It is so windy outside. <clears throat> I think today I've said, oh my gosh, it is so windy. Probably 20 times. We just got done with dinner and Chris is working on some work and watching a movie, I believe, and I'm sitting in my little my little nook over here doing my own work. Um, it is about 8 o'clock. My hope is to go to bed really early, but I also have a lot of work to catch up on. Two weeks in the backcountry is a perfect way to set yourself up for um, a lot of, a lot of work. <laughs> I think in a little bit we'll end up maybe rinsing off and then heading back to the van for the night. It's just felt so cozy in there. They have their system. Copa goes on the bed, Akili goes on her kennel. They figured that out. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. 